Good day once again. My name is Ravix. Today we'll be looking at another example on Elika Spring. So the question goes like this. Number 18. It says that draw two complete tons of a right hand Elika Spring, 78 millimeter mean diameter and 48 millimeter pitch made from 16 millimeter diameter wire. And let's see how it goes. So we are drawn to draw two complete tons of the right hand helical spring, 76 mm diameter, 48 mm pitch, and 16 mm diameter wire. So, like I always say, the first thing you do is to draw uh, draw the vertical and and horizontal line like this that again so this is the center of the line then you take your compass and you draw the diameter of the what of the spring which is what 76 millimeter right so, so you're going to measure it. That is half of 78. 76 is what? 38. So I'll measure 38. It's 38 here. So in doing that, I'll place it at the center here. And I'm going to draw my circle this way. Now this circle I've drawn, right? So draw my circle. Now what I'll do is this. I told you earlier that this half side of the circle is the left hand side, right? And this side is what? The right hand side, right? Now if I project the right hand side, that is my right hand. And if I project the left hand side, that is my what? My left hand, right? So now, but I'm needing my what? I am needing the right hand. So what will I do? Take my comp my C square and I'm going to project this side here because we need the right hand side. So I'm going towards the side. So I come here also. I'm going to project here too. To the side. Are we good? So that means I don't need this aspect. So this is what you'll be having. So I only need this aspect, which is the right hand side, right? So I don't need this other side. Now, I'm going to divide this my circle into six equal parts. So in doing that, you divide just here, divide just here, I'll mark up, and I'll mark down. I'll place it here also, I'll mark here. This is here also. I'm going to mark here. So in doing that, I'll take my ruler. I'm going to join these points together. So this to this, and uh, this to this. Then this to this. And this to this. So this is what we're having divided into as much equal part. I can start from here saying zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you like, zero, one, two, and so on and so forth. So after doing that, the next thing you do is it's telling us that it has a um, 48 millimeter pitch we know that the pitch here is said to be what the pitch is 48 millimeter so i am going to measure 48 millimeter so i'm going to measure from here 
to this point here 48 so this is 40 45 so 48 is here can you see that 48 is here let me show you what i'm talking about so this is zero and this is 40 45 48 here can you see this was 8 49 this is 50 so after that I'm going to divide. He said we're having two tons. How many? Two complete tons. That means we're going to draw this pitch now in two different places. So this is one pitch from here to here. Is one pitch. I'll do the same thing again. Another one from zero to another forty-eight. So I'm going from zero to another word forty-eight. Right? So that's what we're having. So after doing that, yes. we're going to divide this into from here to here into 12, from here to here into 12. So you have divided it because we said from here to here is what? 48. That is two pitch. We have pitch of what? 48. And we're giving two complete tons, so we're having two pitch. Right? So from here to here is 48. From here to here is 48. So what I do is I just divide from this point to this point into 12. And from this point to this point into 12. So I use my line division to divide it. Whatever method you know how to divide, you can use. Right? So the next thing I'll do is to what? Join those points just like we did in our last video. We're going to join those points together to the So I'm moving them up from here. I'll take it up. From here, take it up. From here, take it up. From here, take it up. Two. I'm going to take it up from here, take it up from here, take it up from here, take it up Uh, what you have you're going to have this right so what you do is you're going to project all this point from here to the last point here and that's what I'm going to do so from here I'll move this to this point from here move this to this point from here I move this to this point and from here also, I move this to this point. Right? So, now, let me complete this one. So now, after doing that, we know, we are very sure that this is my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Another one again. 1, 3, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So from 1 to 12 is one pitch. Another 1 to 12 is another pitch. So now what I will do is I will start moving from this point downward. I'm gonna ensure that um, I didn't repeat any. So from here, 
there is it coming down does not repeat any two point on one line then going up again does not repeat any two point on one line coming down again don't repeat any two point on one line then going up don't repeat any two point on one line just like that right this is a French curve, we'll join all these points together mm. and let's see that then. Since it is giving us um, these points, we're supposed to join them, yes. but we're not giving the wire. Look at this. We're giving the wire, as in it says, 16 millimeter mm -hmm. diameter wire, right? So what you do is, you're going to measure 16 millimeter on the wire. So you measure it with your rule. So now I'll go and measure 16 millimeter from zero to this. To half of the diameter is eight. So I measure it. Right? So I measure it. This is it here. So I'm going to place it on every point here. This point that I mark, I'll draw a circle. The next point, I'll draw another circle. The next point, I'll draw another circle. The next point, I'll be using my faint line to draw. Another circle. Next point, draw 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 another circle. Then I draw circle on all the points. Draw the circle. And all the points. Just like that. All the points. And all the points. Two. Another the point. So now we've really done all this. Now we're going to join a line tangent to all the circumference of this circle. So, so you take a line and you draw, you touch all the circumference of the circle. Mm -hmm. So this will come like this. I'm going to be turning all the circumference of this. And come here too. I'm going to turn the circumference of the circle. Okay, now this one. 
Okay. So, this is what we are told to draw. This is an elica spring. So, so, thank you very much. This is how. Uh, to complete turn of my what early cast spring wire. So thank you for watching.